and just being visible, asking questions, you know, how are you, are things okay, getting to know the team. I'm here with Denise Steele. Hi. One of our mates champions. How long ago did you train as a as an assist? Um probably about two and a half years ago. Awesome. Maybe even longer than that now. Yeah. And um but been sort of part of the mates whanau since I moved to Auckland five years ago. Wow, awesome. Yeah. And I see you've presided over the building of this amazing structure up here yeah Woo, that is massive awesome and um we got this project um accredited mates yes. accredited yeah fantastic achievement um well uh, it was down to your hard work yeah yeah but i think it's also great when you've got companies that um have really supported the mates initiative and what we're trying to achieve so um that that's made it easier for me for sure Awesome, fantastic. So originally, um, what inspired you to become a, a Mates volunteer? Well, I'd heard about Mates um, before we, it, they even came to New Zealand and I had done some work in Australia um, and I was just, I guess, shocked about the number of um, people who were losing their lives in the construction industry. And even though I hadn't been touched by that personally, I, I knew of others who had. And I just knew that as soon as it came to New Zealand, I needed to be a part of it. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, mates, uh, this uh, Volunteers Week for us is all about um, just really high-fiving uh, our mates volunteers and thanking you for the amazing work. Training as a connector and then as an assist, um, has it made you feel more confident in having those conversations with people that, yeah. that are obviously you know, having a hard time and struggling? Most definitely, um, because I didn't really know the questions to ask and I'm sure that if I'd asked my kinds of questions, it might have ended really badly. Um, but it's, it's just knowing how to even identify the signs and what are the signals and those invitations when people are struggling and, and I think for me it's been really helpful also being a woman in the construction industry where um, you know I can put an, a, an arm around the shoulder of a guy on site in a way that's not confronting um, but is really nurturing and um, obviously I'm respectful of people's space, but it has helped to um, start conversations. Oh, and brilliant. Yeah, and just knowing that I've got the tools there, plus the backing support of the mates team, that, um, you know, and, and the whole team connect with me on a regular basis and keep in touch. So, you know, that in itself is really helpful. Oh, that's fantastic to hear because um, we're really keen to be um, nurturing our connectors and our assist people, contacting yeah. them, uh, and yeah, it's a, a big part of our co papa too. Um, mm. To thank you for the work that you're doing, um, and obviously we all work pretty hard in this industry. Yeah, uh, we work some long hours and some tough conditions, and um, you know, um, to make sure everyone's looking after themselves Completely. is of utmost importance. So. Um, um, how, how do you kind of encourage your workers, your staff, to, uh, to look after themselves and engage yeah. in some self-care? Uh, a lot of it is, I mean, partly we have toolboxes where we um, talk about mates, we talk about well-being um, regularly, but it's also, I, I come onto site rather than being in the office so that um, everyone has accessibility to me and the rest of our ICOM team as well. Um, and just being visible, asking questions, you know, how are you, are things okay, getting to know the team. Um, so especially we've got a, a big Filipino team, a Pacifica team. So ask them about their families, because a lot of them are offshore, so I know that they they stress and they're sending money home. Um, so it's learning more about them on a personal level, so that they can come and talk to me, come in to see me if I'm in the office, grab me when I'm on site. Um, and it's just keeping those conversations going. And I think it's made a massive um, improvement in how people feel on the site. They actually do feel that they're cared for. 
and so that tends to open them up rather than shut them down and I think that's been um, a real contributing factor particularly on this site which has had quite you know a lot of stress um, as most sites do but it has had a really nice um, vibe of being family. Um, I'm just wondering Denise do you think that um, um, over the past few years there's been a little bit of a, a change in, on site when it comes to uh, the attitude particularly of management to mental health issues in our industry? Oh, vast improvement and um, and I've just seen how you know just through evidence and um, incidents that have happened how quickly the managers you know can get on board now yep. and we had a subcontractor who um, lost a worker not to suicide but to a workplace um, accident and the impact that it had on the team and how well the management actually came on board and went to all of their sites that where this worker had been um, and really supported them and were quite heartfelt in saying that we are here for you and and I was part of that so yeah it's quite it's quite different that whole masculine energy yeah. has changed and <coughs> Um, and there are more open conversations now. People aren't quite so afraid to say, um, you know, or open themselves up to showing that actually do care. Right. Uh, and there's a genuineness about that now, which I didn't see before. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, thanks very much. That's that's really awesome. So you think the old jar of concrete pills is being put away? Oh, I think it's well and truly being put away. Look, no doubt it's out there in some places. Um, but it certainly has been fading quite rapidly. And the last couple of years, you just don't see that toughen up. You know, you don't see the conversations like that anymore. Uh, maybe as a joke from time to time, but in the real world, you know, there's way more support. Um, and, and that whole sharing and community is being encouraged a whole lot more as well. It's making a difference. Um, thanks once again on behalf of mates for all the fantastic work that you and all the other connectors and assist trained people are doing. I think we're making a real difference. I think so too and it's just a real pleasure to be part of the team.